Hi, this is Andrew. I'd like to share with you today a very useful feature that's embedded with the Nintex Forms product. And this feature is the Rules feature, which enables you to display or hide or apply custom validation to controls as required. And the scenario I'm going to talk through with you today is part of a larger application that we built as part of a, a customer onboarding process. But one particular aspect of this business process solution um, was the need to be able to capture a number of questions and answers on a form. And the structure of those questions and answers could get quite complex. So I'm going to show you, first of all, the business process that we were looking to model here. We have a number of questions which are asked to a user. Depending on their answer, different questions may appear or tasks may be generated. So we used workflow to, to build up the task aspect of it. But in the forms product, we were able to utilize a lot of the business logic. And I'll show you through here. So when I click on a new item, the form will appear and questions will be presented in turn. So as I go through and answer these questions, subsequent questions will appear. And so finally, when I'm at the end of my decision tree here, there's no more questions to ask. I can then save the record. If I go through a separate set of questions, let's choose a different, uh, a different permutation. You can see we're getting a completely different set of uh, questions being presented here. Okay, so how did we build this? It was actually quite simple, um, but the learning point here, the point to take away, I think, is, is structuring your questions and answers first of all. So make sure that you map out your decision tree, um, as in the example I flashed up previously. Um, so be sure that your decision tree is top down. You'll see why in a minute. Um, so you can start with your high level questions at the top, um, and then as you branch down through the uh, decision trees, um, we need to replicate that logic on our form. So behind the scenes here, on our form. OK, so let's have a look at the form in design mode. And what we can see on the form here is that we have the layout in the center of the page. All of the questions and answers that I have in my decision trees are placed onto the form. And all the controls are placed inside panels. A panel is an object that enables you to, uh, to to group together a number of controls, and then you can move them around as if they were one object. But what we're interested in here is we want to apply a rule to these controls. So it makes much more sense to apply your rules to a panel, and then your panel can be um, hidden or displayed as appropriate. With regards to the rules, I did mention that you need to have a top-down approach to building your rules. And that's because these rules will be evaluated in sequence. So here we started off with the very top question. Um, is this a business relation? Yes or no? So we have two separate rule outcomes here. The conditions are set by just referencing using the expression builder. So we pass a reference to a named control, another control on our form. build that up appropriately. So the key points to take away here are group your controls into panels. Use rules to display or hide as appropriate. Make sure your rules are in the correct sequence. And to assist you in that regard, uh, map out your rules beforehand into a decision tree. Uh, one point, final point to mention when building up a form with uh, this smart display is do not let your controls overlap each other. In particular, do not let your panels touch onto other panels. Otherwise, you will have problems when evaluating the rules. OK, so that's it for now. I hope this tip has been useful for you. And I wish you all the best in building your forms and utilizing the Nintex rules functionality.